Now then, welcome back to Magic Farm 3. Still testing out the uh, mod pack as it goes, but I feel like this is the final week of testing. The, the final week of testing. I've been testing stuff out in a single player as well. Ouch. I've been testing things out in a single player and been playing around with building in this single player. The test world does look a bit of a mess, but things seem to be working fairly well. Um, I'm feeling confident that we've got what we need to do the job. Um, but building-wise, over here, I've uh, I've not come to a grand halt or anything. I've done uh, a little bit out here. You see, a little entrance way, a little um, a, a little bit of something. <laughs> Uh, it still needs greenery and things like that, plant pots and stuff around the place, but I'm still getting the basic structure done. The actual villa itself, Le Chateau Le Nemson, uh, is pretty cool looking. I like it. I like it a lot. I hope you do too. I've seen some of the comments and the likes on the videos. You definitely like it. Uh, this entranceway is just an entrance into what will be like the kitchen or the cookhouse or something as I work through the process system, as I work through the system of creating everything, next to the nursery greenhouse, we're going to have the uh, kitchens, and this is going to be the kitchen block. Uh, it's going to be a bit more factory orientated up the top, and a little bit more uh, storage and preparation down below. Uh, but, yeah. I've filled out this little bit, terraformed this little bit, a bit more recently. Uh, I just want to place some more bricks down because I'm making my road down here uh, but it all feels like it's ready it's ready I don't want to go into the magic mods just yet I want to save that for a druid's tale properly I didn't really want to do a lot of what I'm planning on doing I planned on just doing the building <laughs> that really does take up a lot uh, I planned on doing mostly just the building side of things but uh, we've kind of got the building all laid out and planned out nicely now. I've uh, got these uh, walls in around here, so we've got a little bit of greenery around the outside edge of the building. I'm going to put some pumpkin light lanterns in here and uh, just cover them with leaves and bushes and spread things around a bit and do a bit of planting and stuff. It's going to look okay when it's done. This all comes all the way around this side of the building. Uh, the building's now got a full roof on and everything. Comes around here, and I've got a little bit of uh, a run around here. I've got a little patio area there to overlook this little lake and stuff. There's there's some nice places. I like the, the look of the place. The actual... Um, uh, what's it called? The, <laughs> the open-air garden area. Uh, that is now looking awesome. I've redesigned it slightly. I had to... Get the circle planner out and figure out the circles for it and get all that laid out. And that looks quite nice now. I like that. Let's go all the way around here and in through the entrance. Done a fair bit of building in here. Um, got a kind of a layout started. This big area here isn't done yet. But I have got a balcony up there, which I quite like. I like the balcony look. Uh, there's nothing up there at the minute, but I do like the balcony look. Let me just uh, pop up the stairs and show you. So we've got a balcony overlooking a big room. I don't know what's going to be in the room yet. It's kind of like building a house and then defining uses of the rooms when somebody moves in. So when the druid moves in, we'll define uses for all these little rooms. Just a couple of little spare bedrooms maybe, something like that. A few few rooms, yeah, simple rooms. And a, a fair-sized room at the end here with a smeltery fireplace running through. We've got that. And uh, I do like the look of this. I, I like the way it's turned out. I'm going to have some pictures on the walls and some other little bits of objects and piece, bits and pieces around the place. But let's look in there. It's getting there. It's getting there. And the layout of the floor plan was one of the things I was looking for most. We've got another little stairwell up here look, like this. Just leaning out onto the, the rooftop up here. And, uh, yeah, this is now looking a lot more circular. Uh, we've got a walkway all the way around the outside, which I was starting on last episode. So I can walk all the way around the outside. I've got to do kind of some sort of stairwell here, which is why I've left it open. Uh, but mostly, 
all of the roofing is done and laid out and set out I put the roofing around this area because I wanted it to stand out nicely and if we have a look on the journey map we can see that it's got a nice circular feel to it a nice open air plaza circular area to it which is quite cool I like um, I've still got the uh, wood being automatically done in there for me um, but I'll move that eventually that's just not going to be there forever and I want to plant a great big tree in the middle that's another thing that's going to happen sooner or later that might be part of the druid's tale to do something like that though uh, up on top of the kitchen the kitchens area I've laid out a few little areas here for growing stuff uh, and a pool of infinite water just because uh, it evened the place up a little bit what I'm planning on doing is having automatic farms, little 3x3 three three automatic farms up here. Just uh, providing resources down below. Uh, down below is uh, not an easy place to get to. But you've got to go off the rooftop and down the side here. Uh, so I've got it all structured and looking nice. And then you come out into here. I've got these uh, kind of cool arches. There, there needs to be lots of details still put in around the place. Uh, I was thinking of having little um, little stables running down the sides there and this section that well all three of the sections I'd managed to get the same corner sort of archway to walk through to get in there uh, how's this doing 12 stacks 15 stacks oh, I've got plenty I'll be able to finish those roads off later when you're not watching uh, do I have no I don't okay uh, another thing that I've been working on is food. I've started getting uh, bored of eating the same items over and over again. It does work, but we've got so many food types in here that uh, this little kitchen that I've got here with uh, three different types of snacks plus toast as the like the main staple diet that I put in my bag here. Uh, in fact, I need some more now, so let's get another couple of those. Thank you. And when was the last time I ate these? Uh, I've been eating those recently then. Okay. And a couple more of those. And they haven't been eaten recently. That's good. Okay. That's ready for later. Uh, most of the time I've been coming down into the nursery area. Um, it's kind of kind of night time out, isn't it? That should be safe. I've lit up so well around the area now. It's not too bad. Yeah, in the nursery area... I've been working on getting more crops sorted out. So I've started messing around with this again. I've taken a couple of weeks of just spending all the time I've spent in this world doing building of the main structure because I've got the clay production and the sand production automated. So I've had all the building materials I've needed. I've just been uh, building and then getting more building materials and stuff. Uh, but I've been trying to get some uh, decent seeds going in here for soy. Uh, let's take that out. I'll just take that off for now. Uh, I even made myself a watering can because it's supposed to be quicker. It doesn't actually feel much quicker. And every tenth use of a watering can, you get a zombie up here that tries to eat your face. Not the best in the world. Uh, see what the last group of these soybeans got me. Uh, I've been. Ooh, I've already got that one. I've been using the four parent method to try and get these things done, and it's not really a problem. It's just it's time consuming, and I can do this at other times. Uh, what I have looked at doing though is creating something new for my food types. Well, that's a good one. Gain seven food types. <clears throat> yeah, we've got loads of seeds here. And I was thinking of using um, a seed soup. Uh, where's the seed soup on here? There we go. Get seed soup on the go to use up the old seeds making seed soup. Now, I think seed soup, no matter which seed it's made from, becomes the same seed soup. So for Spice of Life, I'm going to need to stagger seed soup with other things. But at least the old seeds, instead of just being composted, will turn into something useful. And stock, well, stock can be used by making, well, any old vegetables that I've got lying around uh, can be used to make stock in a pot. So there's another food type. Uh, I do have lots and lots of carrots, 
which I could possibly make lots and lots of stock out of because my carrots are already 10 10 tens. So that's a good thing that I think I'll be doing later on. Uh, but one other thing that I think I want to do as a priority uh, is uh, sandwiches. Let's have a look. Sandwich. Sandwich. There we go. All of these jelly sandwiches, right? All jelly sandwiches seem to have a key ingredient of peanut butter. So if we select anything, it's going to have peanut butter in it. Yep. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. So bread, I can do bread easy because I've got wheat farms. Peanut butter, however, juicer no problem, but peanuts, I need to get peanut seeds. And I was looking at how to get a peanut seed. And a peanut seed in crop mutation is bamboo shoot seed and pea seed. Pea seed requires okra and soybean seeds. Okay. And then once we've got one or two peanut seeds, then I can make those better. If I had 10 10 tens, then I think that would make them better in the first place. Uh huh. Okra seed. There we go. And bow meal it up. There we go. Uh, oh, actually, I don't need that yet, do I? I need a soybean seed. They're bamboo. A soybean. Well, let's make a. Uh, yeah, let's let's get one of these out. That's a higher value. Uh, the four four three four four six three four seven four. I'm gonna take the four seven four because I can always get it back again, can't I? And uh, bow meal that up. There we go. One two, and then use the watering can again. Your watering can value is three. When it gets up to ten, then we're we're knackered. What's this? Pea seed. First time. First time. First time. Awesome. Okay, so that's those done with. Thank you. Thank you. So now I've got the pea seed. So let's just quickly analyze that. Pea seed. Give me pea seed. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it did give a little bit bonus because one of the parents was decent. Okay, so there we go. And then the soybean, no, bamboo shoot seed. That bamboo shoot seed. Let's go in here and put that in there and pop up. Thank you. Do those and... Water it. Wow. Did we get peanut already? We've got peanut already. That was really super quick, wasn't it? Super quick and super easy. Breeding up the seeds. Nice and well done. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so that's how... <laughs> that's how easy it is, man. Okay, let's just quickly do this again. Get a second one. There's another PC. It is another pea seed. Awesome. And another thing I want to check. This watering can value is five at the minute let's put it in there take it back and do we reset the value no we don't okay fine I'll put it in there for now uh okay so p seed number one p seed number two this probably has a one 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 as well yep one 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 okay so peanut butter i need peanuts and with peanuts i want to mass produce them because there's so much peanut butter being used right so i want to breed these up and i'm going to use this little setup over here to breed them up and establish them quickly somewhere up here i'm going to have an auto farm uh, i may just need to do a planter for now but somewhere up here i'm going to have the farming process bringing peanuts down from up there and into a chest, I guess. Uh, yeah, into a chest. May mean that I need to put a planter just there and have that automatically coming out. So I may need to put a chest underneath that one instead of on top of it. There we go. Gimme, gimme. Did I get it back? I didn't get it back. Give it to me back right now. This instant, I tell thee. Give me that chest. Thank you. Okay. I'll get that done. Yeah, I think I'll put a planter up there and have it keeping the uh, peanut butter, the peanuts, and bring the peanuts down to here and then process that into peanut butter automatically. Um, as for the seeds, I'm just going to have a little chest over in the uh, growing area in this area over here 
in the nursery. Just going to have a little seed in the nursery. Um, just where I put my old seeds so that I can quickly make seed soup out of it. Uh -huh. So here I've got this, which is kind of already set up. Yeah. If I put that on there, get a bowl and a seed. I may struggle here because I'm going to have seeds of different varieties. So I might not be able to do it automatically like this. I may just need a crafting table. If I put a crafting table with that on, I've got access to this here. So that's not too bad. Uh, yeah, I think I'll have to do it like that. And then around here, we've got the carrots. I'll take a load of carrots out of that. And I can set up my other chest on this side. Uh, well, over here will do. Put the crafting frame on there. And make that. Make uh, that. There we go. That'll do. And then I can just throw all my excess carrots in there. Make sure I've got a pot in there. And I should be able to just spam out seed soup when I want it. There's the stock making easily done. Yeah, that works okay in there. And then in this, I can put the stock. And then any excess seeds that I don't want, which will be attached in here. This sugarcane seed, for instance. I can make seed soup from it like that and instead of disposing of my seeds any other way I can make batches of seed soup that sounds cool to me uh, weeds dang it pop that in there and watering can value is eight awesome there we go take that whoa what's going on to me why I've got weakness slowness and everything I haven't slept for ages that's why I've been working on the house for so much. So now I feel so bad I have to sleep. Uh, I've got a bed the other end of here, actually. I'll go to that because I don't fancy going all the way home at night. Look how dark it makes it when you're tired, look. Weakness, slowness and all sorts when you're tired in this. Okay. All I need now is to see some mobs. Sleep. Aha! The monsters grow impatient. I don't know how many days I've actually been playing since I updated the pack. So now we've got the apocalypse mode on. Uh, but, I've <laughs> well, you can't do anything about it. Again, you can't do anything else. So I'm going to have to do this uh, like that. There we go. And now what we're on for the watering can. Nine. Okay. One more time with the watering can. And it be going to be knackered. Uh, peanut seed, peanut seed. I've got two but peanut seeds. Uh-huh. Oh, that's a nice one. That's good. Take that one. Thank you. And take that one. Awesome. So, yeah. Let's have this in here with the better peanut seed. That one there. There we go. Bow meal it up a bit. Wahey. Right, what was this one? That was a 111. Get rid of that one. Place down the 121. Bow meal that up and job done. Right, let's go and use this watering can one time outside. Just because a mob spawns on my face and I don't really want it to kill me. There we go. It's a zombie, thank you. Die. Oh, come on. Die, would you? <laughs> I don't believe I'm going to let it get a hit in on me. Dang it. Okay, right. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, now we've got this. Let's do some more watering and see if we can get another one. Yes, we can, man. We're doing well. Okay, so I need to get this to level 10 and then start thinking about putting the planter up and everything over at the farm, uh, over at the other area. So I'm going to sort that out. All right, so... Uh, I did have a planter here for a little while. You may have noticed a few episodes ago. So now I'm just going to put that planter up here for a change. And have it so that it's just going to harvest the crops. Uh, it says it's running. There we go. We've got peanuts in there. Good, good. 
I don't actually want peanuts going into that slot though. So I'm going to swap it around and have peanut seeds going into that slot. It shouldn't actually need to replant as far as I'm aware. It shouldn't need to replant at all. But it will get the peanuts from up there. And I'll just have a hopper bringing it down to that chest for now. I've got to figure out a lot of automation and how I can automate it down into here. Um, but I don't exactly know what I want to do yet. Um, I'm thinking extra utilities, I'm thinking uh, with rationing pipes and uh, also having some other piping that takes it to different places using the Steve's uh, workshop to craft things and spit them out and stuff like that as well. That could be a cool idea. Uh, but generally, that is stage one. I've got peanuts. Peanuts up here. Peanut butter is going to be a thing. Uh, why is that mature and it's not? Oh, it's because it's only taken the first one. So I've got to do a couple of upgrades for the planter to make sure that it does the whole area. I've got one more one, uh, one more in here to do as well. Can I do it in here? Oh, yeah, I can. Awesome. Uh, I've got one more that needs to grow out into there as well. And these are all 10, 10, 10 now. These ones I've grown from other seeds. Uh, so 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Those are the ones I analysed and brought over here. And these ones... Oh, I'm sleepy again. These ones are bred from the other two. So they should be 10, 10, 10s. Aha! It's grown. Awesome. Okay, so that's me done. Oh, now I've got to find my way down and into a bed. Oh, oh. Does, does it work like this in F5 as well? Oh, yes. The spooky ending. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching another episode of Magic Farm 3. I'm going to do another couple of episodes this week, I think, uh, in Magic Farm 3 terms, and then we'll kick off a Druid's Tale starting next week. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next episode.